What is going on everybody? It's American Nukes and welcome to the channel for another Forza Horizon 3 build as you guys can see man here today we're gonna be building up this 2014 Chevy Super Sport man. This is probably one of the cars that I've been waiting to build. Well not really waiting to build but I've been planning to build. Alright here we go man. Jump into the Forza Vista here. Let's open up all these corridors man. Alright so let's go ahead and see man. We got a big meaty V8 up in there. You guys already know you guys already know it. That's really one of the reasons why I want to go ahead and do a build on this car. It's going to be pretty fun to build, pretty fun to drive. You know, we should have a little bit of fun with this guy here, man. So we can go ahead, go ahead and hop on in. This, hold on, let's close all that. Go ahead and start our up. Yeah, it doesn't sound too bad, man. It doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, actually. All right, so let's go ahead, take it for a drive, see how it is. You guys already know how we're doing this. Really hard to catch some things. All right, so we're going to go ahead. Let's see if we can actually get a decent launch here. I'm going to probably launch it from maybe 3,500, right around there. Right, that kind of, that, that was all right, man. It wasn't too bad of a launch, man. This thing, it's not too bad, man. I like it. I like it. It's not too bad, man. It, it's it's a pretty good car, man. This is probably why I wanted to build this, cause it, it's it feels exactly how I thought it was gonna feel. Man. So need to figure out what exactly I'm gonna be doing for this build. And uh, honestly, I don't think we're gonna go for a class build this time. We're just gonna build it up to a suitable range. I see 400 horsepower. It doesn't really seem like enough. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put some power into this guy now. All right, here we go, man. We're in the upgrade shop. Now let's go ahead and go to conversions first. Engine swap, you guys already know, man. It's probably the V10 and the V12. <laughs> That's nothing that you should not expect, man. I see that every car does really get that in this game, man. They all get them same engine swaps. Aspiration. Okay, so we get twin turbo, positive displacement supercharger, centrifugal supercharger. We're probably gonna go with the positive displacement supercharger. Let's see, I know we don't really have anything good here besides Forza, Arrow, and stuff, so we're definitely not gonna throw that on there. Tire compound. Now, I know if we put some power into this guy, it hooks up pretty good now, but I know if we put some power into this guy, we're definitely gonna need some better tires. Okay, some better tires. I think what I might do is we may go ahead and upgrade it somewhere in S1. Uh, possibly I think that's what we may do because I want to put sp uh, sport tire compound on here just to see what we can do man all right so tire width let's see man oh we got some 315s on the back I thought it was, I, I honestly thought it could be a little bit wider but 315s are alrighty they're alrighty and I know you could probably do the same no 275 is on the front Ah, 275s on the front all right we're gonna skip out on that I don't really think we should upgrade the front of that there uh, we may actually go up, let's go up one, 265s in the front. Let's see if we can find uh, some decent rims to go on here. These rims, I think we're going to throw on these ADV ones. They don't look too bad, man. Honestly, they don't look too bad, man. Look at that. Okay, that, that's hideous, man. That That's hideous. I don't like the the lip and the rim being uh, gold, man. No, no. We're going to go with these. Throw those guys on there. Let me see what kind of rim size we have. Oh, we can throw on some 20s. Throw on some 20s. Up front of 19s, up to some 20s. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. 20s all around. Come on over to the drivetrain. Let me see, man. Uh, we might go ahead and go with Sport Clutch. Uh, let's see. We're going to go with the probably. I may go with the race transmission. Wearing brakes here. Let's go ahead. Yeah, we're going to throw on some race brakes. Why not, man? got to stop this big beast, man. It's going to waste. It weighs so much. Might as well. And then there's Rally Spring. No, no, we're gonna go with the yeah, we're gonna go with the Ray Springs and Dampters. Dampters. Here we go. Wait, we're How much do we weigh? Three point nine. Still, I think we're gonna go ahead and drop that down. Maybe three point five. Yeah, that seems like a good amount. Three hundred and uh, thirty-five hundred pounds engine here. All right, see. So, you know, I kind of want to fully tune this all the way up, but I know if we do that, we'll have a little bit too much power. How much are we running? Six thirty-five. Six ninety-two. Look at yo. 692 692 horsepower 
in my mind when I thought about this build I was thinking about maybe going up to 800 horsepower that seems like a decent range but we may stop at uh, 750 exhaust let's throw that on there it's still even man that's wild I didn't even know a car could be as even as this oh that's 395 oh this throws some mad power Oh, so should we throw a lot of power into this guy, man? I'm thinking. I don't know because I really don't want this thing to be uncontrollable. Let me see. 345, 349. That's going to put us basically one mile an hour, uh, one horsepower rating lower than where I want it to be, man. And we're a 7 liter V8 now, so that's pretty crazy. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's see how it runs with uh, this setup right here. So 750 horsepower, 749 horsepower. And we dropped the weight down quite a bit. That's really why I didn't want to do it. Because if we would have upgraded it all the way, we probably would have had to, you know, put the weight back up. All right, here we go, man. We're going to hop into painting and whatnot. So, you know, this stock paint right here doesn't look too bad. I kind of like it. I really do. Honestly, it's like it's like a regular type of, uh, you know, paint job. You really wouldn't expect much. You maybe go with a carbon fiber hood. Carbon fibre. Prisma color black looks good. You know, Prismacolor is like damn near carbon fiber, to me at least. Uh, it's it's damn near. Uh, but it's polished carbon fiber. Why not? Let's go ahead and throw that on there. Let's go ahead and carbon fiber the mirrors up as well to have that match. Yes, sir. We got a carbon fiber the mirrors up. Let's see. Carbon fiber the spoiler? I think so. Oh, yeah. Look at that, man. The black little spoiler on there. That actually looks pretty good, man. I like that. All right, so, and then the rims here, they're already black. We can go with a polished black, man. But we got these right here, carbon fiber polished. I think that's what we're going to go with. Darken the tint up just a little bit. And I think that's it, man. I'll go ahead and get a full view so we can see what we're working with. All right, so really quick, man. Final stats, 749 horsepower, 749 pound-feet of torque, 3,518 pounds in a 7-liter V8, man. And we're still real wheel drive. That's really why I wanted to keep the weight on there just to make sure we'll be able to control the car, man. But here we go, man. Forza Fista, as you guys can see, man. We actually can't even open up any of the part. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I guess it's because it's not stock anymore. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure that's why. But uh, here we go, man. This is what we're working with now. It's not a bad looking uh, Malibu here. It's, it's basically kind of stock looking with a couple of carbon fiber. Uh, changes to it. It's, it's really nothing too serious. So let's go ahead and take it out for a spin and Let's see how it does and also take it out for a couple of races All right, so here we go, man We're gonna be able to test it out see how it runs now considering that we have all this power on here Let's do about a 3500 rpm launch Oh, of course man mad will spin Mad will spin. It's, it's sort of controllable though. It's not that bad. Oh, oh okay. I see where it likes to kick its side out, though. Jesus, man. It definitely likes to kick itself out. It's too bad. It's definitely faster. It's way faster, man. 300 more horsepower. It's definitely faster, man. All right, so I really wanted to check to see because I have a feeling that six gear may be overdrive or overkill. Oh, no. Six gear is actually kind of straight, and it's a, it's a six-speed. All right, so that's cool. That's cool. You know, pretty good, man. I'm actually happy with what we have built. I'm actually happy with what we have built, man. This is actually not a bad car. And we're definitely going to have to go ahead and take it out, do some races. You guys already know how we're going to be doing this. So I will see you guys in, in a couple of seconds once we figure out our first race, man. All right, here we go, man. While we're on the way to our first race, man, I want to go ahead and see what kind of boost we're pulling in here. Man, 22 pounds of boost. Oh, that's not too bad, man. 22 pounds of boost. I love it. All right, man, we're going to go ahead and lower the tire pressure in the rear here just a little bit. I guess we could raise the front up just a tad. Just a little bit, man. All right, so let's see, man. The gears are straight. I don't really have to do much uh, for the gears. They're, they're actually pretty pretty well done there. Um, all right, get rid of the camber on the back. I guess we'll, we'll go ahead and make the rear a little bit more soft to see if we can... 
I guess have the car squat down instead. I'm gonna go ahead and have it squat down a tad. Oh, look at that, yo. Let's go ahead and make these springs a little bit softer. Cause man, this car here, man, it likes to get up and go. We definitely need to go ahead and have it squat down just a little bit. Go ahead and drop the ride height in the rear on the way down, drop it in the front on the way down, see how that works out. Okay, it actually rolls to zero to 60, so let's raise the front back up. And I guess that'll just level it out, because the, uh, the front is lower than the back, so we'll go ahead and leave it like that. Let's soften up the back just a little bit more. I hope this tune actually works out, man, because if you guys don't know, man, your boy is actually not that big on tunes. So I'm actually gonna have to just play around with things and stuff like that. I know making it a little bit softer increases grip just a little bit when it comes to having a lot of power. And it was at 75, we'll put it at 70, see how that goes, see how that rides. All right, so we'll go ahead and test out this tune. I'm not really too sure how it's gonna do because your boy is not a master tuner, uh, like I did say before. So hopefully this tune is actually decent. All right, here we go, man. Let's go ahead and get this started up. Let's see how this goes. Okay, there's a lot less spin in the back. Yo, I love it. I love it. This tune is actually not that bad. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that was kind of wide. That was kind of wide there. It's actually way more controllable with a softer rear end, man, for sure. Come on. Oh, my God. Why is this dude in front of me like this? Do you know how to turn, Camaro? Jeez, man. All right, here we go. We had to rewind that back because look, look at that. He's just spinning out. Dude doesn't even know how to turn. All right, we're passing up some of these cars, man. Look at that sixth place. Oh, man. Yo, that was kind of... Oh, that was a decent little turn there. Okay, I can dig that. Now, we actually got to make up some time here. Look at that. Having a softer rear end, man. It actually helped out. I think I should have probably did a tune for the first race. But I guess the first race is really just like a test just to see how everything would go. Oh, there we go. Come on. Grip up. That's what I'm talking about. It kind of gripped up. We kind of shifted a little early there. I'd assume that's probably why it was like that. There we go. Come on. Take money inside. Oh, that's kind of a sharp turn, kind of. Oh, we almost spun it just a little bit. I held it. And we granny shifted it. Come on. I'm trying to overtake most of these dudes, man. They they just in line, yo. They, yo, look at that. He just pushed me. He just pushed me and it threw me off. Oh, 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 okay. Spin them tires just like that. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're in third place. Decent amount of time left in the race. We should be able to catch these last two dudes, man. We should be able to catch them before the end of the race uh, coming up here, man. 750 horsepower. Like, Jesus. Hey, man, come on, yo. Y'all gotta get the way. Come on, we gotta actually hook up. We gotta hook up. We're just spinning. Jeez, man, we were just spinning. Like there was no tomorrow. There we go, man. It hooked up very easily there. I don't think we're going to be able to catch this dude by the time we get down there. We're going to take second place for this race. That's a little come up there, though. I like that, man. I like that. Probably took first place if we would have came up just a little bit faster, man. We're doing pretty good, man. I'm loving this build so far, man. It's actually a pretty fun build. So let me see, man. All right. So let me see. Do we have a straight right here behind us? I think we do. Yeah, we do. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull right here. Don't hit me, you He went straight at me. Like, what? But all right, so let's go ahead. Let's get about a, you know, a 3.5K launch like we always do. Let's see how it goes. See, I can definitely keep it in a straight line a lot more now, considering that the suspension is a lot softer. So it's a way better, man. I really do like this tune. All right, here we go, man. The next race. Hopefully we do well, man. The roads are wet, so this will be the perfect test for the tune that we did put on this Super Sport, man. We'll be able to tell if the tune is actually decent, man. Well, we're holding up, man. We're holding up. It's actually not that bad of a tune, man. I'm loving this. I just slow it down just a little bit. Down shift it. Oh, okay. All right, there we go. We're working out. We're working wonders here, man. I'm trying to take this challenge on the inside, and he's holding up, man. He did not want to let me pass. There we go. All right, they breaking right here. Y'all ain't got to break in front of me, man. We ain't, we ain't got time for breaking. We ain't got time for breaking. Oh, pass straight. Oh, man, look at this. We ain't, Okay, we break a little bit there, but we you know we, we don't do that. We don't do a lot of breaking. Let's slow it down just a little bit so we don't lose it. There we go, coming up on this Camaro. Come on, let me through, dude. Let me through. 
Oh, we're doing some ultimate drafting right there. Okay. Oh, we're having a little bit of uh, good luck here, I guess, with this race, man. This race is actually not that bad. I actually wasn't even shifting, man. We could have shifted there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Drifting mid-race. Who would have thought? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. You can't even be doing that. God, please, man. Look at that, man. We're kicking out the sides and stuff. Come on, keep it straight. That's what I'm talking about. We're doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. I like how this is going. Being up here ahead of them. They ain't with it, man. They ain't with it. I right, kind of green shifted forward just a little bit there. I got to remember to actually pay attention to that, man. All right, let's slow it down. Stay in second gear. I really don't want to go down to first. I think it would have been pointless to go down to first. We're doing pretty good here, too. Yeah, we're doing pretty good, man. I'm loving this. Making decent corners, decent turns. That's what I'm talking about, man. Down shit. Whoa, where did he come from? Yo, no, sir. No, sir. We ain't beating this. Back, back. I don't know where that dude came from, yo. He actually came up in that Camaro pretty quick, yo. I was not expecting them to catch up, man. But there we go. First place, man. It's the first race we've won. Oh, this thing can drift with 750 horsepower, man. I'm not even that good of a drifter. And we don't even have, like, a drift tune on here. Look at that. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, I'm loving it. All right, I'm loving it. But all right, man. I'll catch you guys in the next race, man. You already know how your boy is going to be doing this. Definitely will catch you guys in the next race. Oh, but after we get these couple of drifts here, oh, I love it, man. This car is pretty good at drifting. I love it. All right, here we go, man. We're on one of our final races. Let's go ahead and see how this goes, man. If we lose this race, man, I'm definitely doing another one. We're going to have to redeem ourselves, man. We only won one race this entire episode. Got to mention, oh, we just overtook all of them with ease. I'm loving that. All right, let's go ahead and catch up. We've got a Corvette up here that we got to catch up to. Well, they all seem to be pulling up here, man. Come on, y'all gotta, gotta fall back for your boy. Let your boy catch up. All right, hold on. Let's go ahead and downshift a little bit. We kind of slowed down a little bit too much there, man. We didn't really have to slow down that much. All right, there's another Corvette, an older one. Okay, so there's two vets up here. We granny shifted that. I need to stop granny shifting, man. All right, there we go. Overtake that one Z06. Coming for this ZR1 up here. I'm pretty sure that's a ZR1. Oh, yo, we tapped the ball. Jesus, man. That was a hard tap, too. Don't know if you guys caught that, but that was definitely a hard tap. Come on, keep it straight. Keep the power to the flow. No spinny tires. Oh, damn. We gotta come through some water. Can we actually catch these dudes, though? All right, that was a horrible turn right there. All right, man. Oh, whoa, come on. Come on. No, no. Oh, oh, I'll take the drifting. I'll take it. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'll take it, man. This car loves to drift. These dudes actually got a lead. Whoa. Yo, we got to catch up. I can't even see them. I can't even see them. How fast are they going? We're going 180. How fast are they going? Oh, we're losing speed going up this hill. Oh, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. That was bad. Okay, I'll take some drifties right here. Let's down, shift it all the way down to third so we can actually get some power. That was horrible. Slow it down, slow it down. There we go. Full throttle a little bit just so we can keep the grip. Slow it down just a little bit. Come on. That's what we talk. Oh, look at that. Oh, we drifting like it's nothing. I'm telling you, this is not... I, I keep wanting to call this a Malibu for some reason. I'm, I don't know if you guys caught that, but I, I almost said Malibu again. I said Malibu. And then I stopped it. All right, but here we go. Oh, damn. The Corvette then came back around. Jeez, man. Come on. What is up with that? Bro, how, how are these dudes passing me? All right, we're, we're going to play a little bit better here. We're going to play a little bit. Okay, that was, that, was not, that was not. Oh, that was horrible. That was horrible. 
Yo, this entire race was horrible. Oh, we got to do another one. <laughs> we got to do another one. I don't know what that was. We got passed up at the end, everybody. All right, here we go, man. This is the final race for this Chevy Malibu. I said it again. The Chevy Super Sport. I I'm telling you, man, this thing reminds me of a Malibu too much, man. It really does. Plus, I really like the Malibu, so why not, man? Why not? I love it. I like the Malibus. Oh, look. No, the CTSV just sped past me like it wasn't nothing. I'm trying to keep up with these other modern muscle cars. Even though we're also a modern muscle car. Alright, man. Come on. Let's get up through here. That's what I'm talking about. Slow it down just a tad. Come on. We're in fifth place. Not too bad. Could be a lot worse. I need these dudes to get out of the way. Oh, look at that. Oh, so see, that was a nice little drift, but you know, it, it really didn't help us at all. It, it was just, that was all for style, man. Because it, it really honestly did not help us at all. We ended up losing the space to a Camaro. Let's go ahead and slow it down. Take them on the inside. Speed it up. That's what I'm talking about. Go full throttle. Come on. That's what I'm talking about, man. They hit them brakes right there. Uh, we need to stay on the road. That's one thing we got to do. Right, come on, here we go. Kind of hug the inside there just a little bit. Full throttle. These dudes are actually holding their own weight up here, man. Look at that. That, that turn right there almost spun us out, man. That was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. It almost did it again right there. Can't hit that gas at a certain... At a, a certain way, man, we're going through some of these turns. Oh, we're drifting around the same turn once again. Okay. All right, man. Hopefully, we can actually go ahead and overtake these dudes by the end. There we go. I had to shift just to gain traction right there. All right, let's see right down. Down shift. Shift up. Hey, man, we're coming for this. We're coming for the second place spot, Mr. Vet. Is that a, yeah, that's a Camaro that's up here in first. Come on, come on. I'm going to shift up to fourth so I can actually gain traction, man. And sitting in third gear at those high RPMs like that is doing nothing but spinning tires due to the, due to the supercharger, man. All right, let's get on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Actually having the challenge like that is actually pretty fun, man. I love it. I love it, man. I swear, racing games is like the only game where having the challenge is like one of the best things ever besides call of duty sometimes having the challenge in call of duty is good but i don't know man it's not something that i would want to deal with every day here we go man we took first place man for the final race man first place that was actually kind of close too man we could have lost that and i think we did get the best lap time 52.5 seconds that's what i'm talking about all right well that's gonna conclude this here chevy super sport build and i just downshifted like a noob Hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's see if we can actually do something in this drift zone. I was in the wrong gear. Come on, kick it out. Kick that tail out. Oh, kick it out. Kick it out some more. Oh, that wasn't too much. That was horrible, actually. But hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And um, I will have to catch you guys in the next build video. If you have any suggestions, man, leave them in the comment section down below. We'll definitely go ahead and get to them so you guys can actually see your favorite cars on the channel, man. Uh, we can have a little bit of fun with that, man. But with that being said, man, I will catch you guys in the next build video, man. I'm your boy Noobs, and I'm out. Peace.